so what is fdme financial data management enterprise edition so it is an etl tool e means extract t means transform l means load so e means extract means extract the data from sap means any erp sap oracle financials peoples of sable crm jd edwards etc and then it will transform the data metadata according to the target system and then it will load the data okay normally it loads metadata also but as of now right it will not work so there is a separate tool called drm data relation management it deals with metadata whereas fdme deals with data so today we'll learn how to load data right so a simple data loading so we have to follow these steps first how do we navigate click on navigate administer and then data management so here you see two tabs setup tab and then workflow tab we'll see that let it open so you can see workflow tab and setup tab setup tab is one time activity means while registering the application right during the setup we do it as a one time activity workflow is a regular activity so here are the steps first we have to register the target application and then we have to create the root folder and then import format and then category mapping period mapping location and then data load rule and then map all dimension members and then import validate and export data that's it until 10 10th step right these are the 10 steps we have to follow now once data is loaded if you get any error message right then we'll check all the error logs we'll generate the reports and we'll load the we'll automate the data load through batch files so jaitan scripting in this class we don't discuss this jaitan scripting okay it needs at least five or six classes so we we are avoiding this jaitan scripting remaining we'll see how to load etc etc so set up one time activity workflow regular activity so first step is register target application this is also one time activity need not practice because so we'll go to target application here if there is already an application then we need not register see all the applications are already registered so this is a application already registered right so you need not practice this it's a one time activity whenever you register the application it will be registered so just quickly one second we'll delete all the applications and we'll try to see that one just give me one second so right right users right click provision so many applications right i'll try to register delete all these and register one application right okay now go to navigate administer consolidation administration We'll keep one application and we'll register that application, okay? Right. Then 
Then now come here, refresh. So I'll delete this application, yes. And then this application. Right, log off and login again. So, navigate, administer, data management, click on setup tab and target application. You see only one application, right? So, you can keep this application. So, how do we uh, reach to the target application? Click on add button, local and cloud, yes. You can use local as well as cloud also if you are integrating i mean if you are loading data from fdm to cloud epbcs or hfm yes we can still use cloud url also so i am clicking on local type is planning or financial management yes so application name yes practice rules click ok see application is registered successfully now when you do it again you cannot see the application so save see two applications so it is a one-time activity you need not register it again so right please don't delete the original uh, this application because when you delete all all the work done by other people right it will be gone so you can delete this practice rule yes delete and then you can log off and log in again it will it will uh, be deleted see log off again admin login yes click on navigate administer data management see click on setup register target application so there will be only one application okay so you can register practice application also right so first step is register target application second step is re root folder once again i am saying never practice this strictly don't change because when you change the root folder right automatically entire uh, root folder will change for example if you put your own root folder other people cannot practice simply they will change according to their uh, system automatically you cannot practice so let me open the main server okay yes so connect now where is the root folder click on any folder go to c drive oracle see fdme this is the root folder so baba126 outbox somebody has changed this automatically that is the reason here you got outbox so let me delete everything right right delete when you create a root folder it will create it here all the folders are will be automatically created in the server so you cannot have control from your system now come here right go to system settings this is the root folder yes perfect now when you click on this application settings here here also you see the root folder so so to the main system folder I'm creating the application folder also so if you are having uh, another application called uh, rules practice yes I create another so save this one now I, when I click on create application folders what happens see create application folders now come here and see here see a application will be created and then data inbox outbox this is the folder structure when you go to data you will see application data and scripts when you go to scripts you will see custom script event script import script again when you go to inbox you see batches and archives when you go to batches you see two folders open batch and open batch multi load next when you go to outbox you see all the log files and reports archive archive means whatever the means uh, logs are everything you archive right it will go to this archive store 
clear so this is the folder structure automatically system will create so when you change the root folder right whatever the files you put in this inbox other people cannot log cannot access this so once again i am saying never practice this this two okay in live also we put only one time clear it is already existing strictly don't change don't change nothing will work if you change so this three steps are one time activity right these two steps don't practice this from third step on us yes you, you can practice now next the third step is create import format what is import format so import format means it is the definition of the source file so i'll explain you what is import format right so i'll create a data file right click new text file okay so i'll put it as sap dot dat or text whatever you want okay txt text okay right open this so randomly you can enter some data so abc comma ind comma comma Eight, 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 eight. This is my data. Okay, copy this, paste this. Right. Okay, something. This is my data file. Now you have to load this eight, 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 and nine, nine, nine. So you have ABC. This one is ABC. So this is my product. Say this is my entity. This is my account. This is my scenario. This is my year and period. And this is value. So you have to load this to into HFM. Now how do you? What is import format? Import format is nothing but you are explaining this to the system. So what is the delimiter? Comma is the delimiter. So first column is product. Second column is entity. Third column is account. So you are saying to the system. Fourth and fifth column. Scenario and uh, year period. And seventh column is value. So you have to explain this to the system. Same thing. The first thing we start with FDM is we extract the data from SAP. And we will ask the file data file and then we analyze the data file and we put it in the system number of columns etc that is called import format so what is import format import format is definition of the source file definition means you are clearly explaining the system the properties columns of source file under kadvaindama please confirm the meaning of import format and tend kadvaindala ledo yes sir no please so yes click on import format yes so here you see right yes click on add button so what is my data yes ap data so yes ap p underscore imp okay okay what is my source it is always file only right yes okay so sometimes you need to directly integrate yes you can integrate directly sap data oracle financials data but here it is not possible okay so sap data data yes so what is your file when you open the file here it is a text file delimited with comma if it is excel then fixed so here if you put fixed numeric data means it is excel every column will be there right delimited numeric data means yes whatever we put uh, uh, the notepad so multi column means so you are loading budget data delimited all data type means yes along with data you are loading text also so we practice this delimited numeric data so okay what is the delimiter comma pipe exclamation so our delimiter is comma 
what is the target application whatever the uh, application you register right select that now drill down simply copy this uh, workspace url and paste it so that when you drill down automatically it open the fdme screen click on save button see so sap import now below when you scroll down here it will show all the accounts all the columns you have all the dimensions <coughs> so account dimension target account dimension in source also we call it as account okay field number what is the account field number here Chapanama, what is the field number for what is the column number for account Chapali. three so we will put three here yes then next what is the column for amount in sap they call it as value what is the column for amount six six yes done next data source what is the column for data source is there a data source here no there is no data source in sap but that there, there is a data source in hfm so what we do you can put any column i'll put it here also data type so i'll put one there is no data type but here i'll hard code it so that whatever the member it is it will load to this particular member only so d-a-t-a-i-n-p-u-t -A -A right yes next entity c-o-m-p-a-n-y in sap they call it as company what is the number of entity here what is the column number one two 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 right icp icp there is no icp in sap so we'll hard code it to icp none so icp n o n g none right next movement there is no movement dimension one right so you need not hard code actually it will be directly loaded to the same member whatever you put right it will load it will load the same member so what we put mvmts underscore cash cash yes multi gap sap there is no multi gap so here i load it to local gap l o c a l g a a p yes product they also call, call it as product so one that's it so whatever is there one right it will save now save this one see i have explained my source file to the system all the columns right now automatically uh, third column it will recognize as account and then it will check one two three four five is mapped to sales or income from sales or salaries etc etc so this is called import format what do you mean by import format import format is the definition of the source file so whenever we start implementing the fdm first thing we do is we'll take the data from sap or oracle financials or any any erp and then we'll analyze the data file all the columns in live right sometimes you'll see 90 columns also yes some columns we ignore we don't ignore so here what are the columns we ignored here? Chapanama. What are the columns we ignored here? Years and amount. Yes, not amount. Scenario okay. and year and period. So we don't need that because we'll manage scenario, year and period above the file. Okay. This file lopal miku miku January 2001. August 2020, 2020, you select POV, it will ignore the year period and scenario within the file. And then the file will make a scenario, year period, the system it will ignore. Clear? It won't consider this. And we don't need this. So we ignore. Likewise, you will have some 20 to 30 columns to ignore. Simply we will ignore that whatever the columns we need only those columns we will map okay import format lo manaki a columns kavalo a columns maatrame map chestam amma right next we'll go to in case vachina kuda teesukovali sir adi scenario 
తీసుకోదు సిస్టమ్ తీసుకోదు మనము తీసుకో ఎందుకంటే నేను చెప్తాను పివోవి అనే కాన్సెప్ట్ ఉంది ఎస్ వీల్ మేనేజ్ ఫ్రమ్ పివోవి రైట్ ఐ విల్ షో యూర్ దట్ వన్ సో వెన్ యూ గో టు డేటా లోడ్ హియర్ సి దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ పివోవి దిస్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ పివోవి లొకేషన్ పీరియడ్ ఈ పీరియడ్కి లోడ్ అవుద్దామ్మా లోపల ఆగస్ట్ ట్వంటీ టూ ఉన్నాయండి లేకపోతే జూన్ ట్వంటీ టూ థౌజండ్ ఉన్నాయండి వాట్ ఎవర్ ద పీరియడ్ యూ సెలెక్ట్ ఇన్ ద పివోవి అండ్ కేటగిరీ యూ సెలెక్ట్ ఇన్ ద పివోవి ఇట్ విల్ బి లోడింగ్ టు దిస్ పర్టికులర్ ఇయర్ పీరియడ్ అండ్ సినారియో ఓన్లీ సో వీ కంట్రోల్ ఇయర్ పీరియడ్ అండ్ సినారియో అవుట్ సైడ్ ద డేటా ఫైల్ క్లియర్ జీవన్ అర్థం అన్నట్టేనా రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ స్టెప్ సో సో ఒక్క నిమిషం అండి అమ్మ ఎన్ని తీసేద్దాం కొంచెం కన్ఫ్యూజన్ లేకుండా రైట్ సో ఎస్ నా నెక్స్ట్ స్టెప్ కేటగిరీ మ్యాపింగ్ నథింగ్ బట్ సినారియో మ్యాపింగ్ కమ్ హియర్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ సెటప్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ కేటగిరీ మ్యాపింగ్ సో హియర్ యూ సి అప్లికేషన్ మ్యాపింగ్ అండ్ గ్లోబల్ మ్యాపింగ్ సో వాట్ డూ మెన్ బై గ్లోబల్ మ్యాపింగ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ యూ హ్యావ్ ప్లానింగ్ అప్లికేషన్ యూ హ్యావ్ హెచ్ఎఫ్ఎం అప్లికేషన్ యూ హ్యావ్ ప్రాఫిటబుల్ అప్లికేషన్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ద అప్లికేషన్ యూ ఆర్ కాలింగ్ యాక్చువల్ యాజ్ యాక్చువల్ బడ్జెట్ యాజ్ బడ్జెట్ ఫోర్కాస్ట్ యాజ్ బై ఫోర్కాస్ట్ ఎస్ యూ క్యాన్ యూజ్ గ్లోబల్ మ్యాపింగ్ బట్ సమ్టైమ్ ఇన్ ఇన్ ప్లానింగ్ అప్లికేషన్ యూ ఆర్ కాలింగ్ యాక్చువల్ యాజ్ యాక్చువల్స్ ఆర్ డిఫరెంట్ నేమ్ దెన్ యూ క్యాన్ క్రియేట్ ఎ సపరేట్ అప్లికేషన్ మ్యాపింగ్ ఆల్సో ఓకే so i am using global mapping so f o r e c a s t forecast yes so target category is here f o r e c a s t so my actual is map to actual category actual actual budget budget forecast forecast that's it this is called category mapping next is period mapping so yes click on period mapping so you can see all the periods are here right yes so one by one you can add so august 22 is already added 22 is already added 21 is already added. so i'll i'll add 20 2017 okay or 2023 click on add button so here you have to give period key actual period so what is that one one comma one comma two zero two three what is the prior period right so 12 31 2 0 yes what we call it as j and jan 2 0 period is j and jan here is 2 0 target is 2 0 that's it save done now you can load data to whatever the data right you can you can call this data as january 2023 whenever you call january 2023 it will load to january january period and year 2023 okay so this is called you can automate this you can you can export it into excel and then you can fill all the things you can load at a time so every year they will load the entire year i mean from january to december and then they will load okay so this is called period mapping next step very very important create location so location is a place where we load data so what do we mean by location here okay from where you are getting data if i ask you a question from where you are getting data you will say sap again i'll ask which data you are getting from sap actual data budget data forecast data so you have answer right yes actual data okay where you are loading you have to answer again hfm planning sbs our profitability etc so this location can be either source specific or target specific so i will put my sap underscore hfm underscore actual means i am getting data from sap and i am loading it to hfm into actual data so location is a place where we load the data it may be either source related example sap people soft jd adwords etc 
और टारगेट रिलेटेड एच एफ एम एक्चुअल एच एफ एम बजट प्लानिंग एक्चुअल प्लानिंग बजट एक्सेट्रा सो राइट क्लिक ऑन लोकेशन प्लीज म्यूट हेमंत सो यस लोकेशन आई टारगेट एप्लीकेशन यस आई क्लिक ऑन एड बटन सो नेम ऑफ द लोकेशन इज एस सी ए पी अंडर स्कोर एच एफ एम अंडर स्कोर ए सी टी एक्चुअल डेटा यस सो एवरी लोकेशन इज असाइंड टू एन इम्पोर्ट फॉर्मेट सो क्लिक ऑन इम्पोर्ट फॉर्मेट एंड देन सेलेक्ट द एस ए पी इम्पोर्ट सो रिमेनिंग ऑल फील्ड लीव डिफॉल्ट ओके सो हियर यू सी फंक्शनल करेंसी अकाउंटिंग एंटिटी चेक एंटिटी ग्रुप दीज एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट आई एम नॉट डिस्कसिंग right so sap data sap data so target application by default it will come because we selected the import format right so according to the import format it will select the target application automatically so in live we use this check entity rule check rule also but as of now we are not discussing okay you have to learn by yourself then meek admin ga isthano ivanni sontanga nechukondi amma so yes click on save button yes my location is created perfectly next step so location here you have to understand one one important point one location can have more than one import perform import format with the help of data load rule so data load rule you will understand that so location means it is a place where we load the data so whenever you are loading the data so go to workflow click on uh, workload workbench so here you have to select the location first see so here i'll select the location as remove this search i see means i am loading hfm actual data sap to hfm actual data i am loading sap to hfm budget data i am loading sap to planning budget data i am loading oracle financials to hfm budget data likewise every location right while loading the data first we'll select the location and then we select the year end period clear so that is the reason see click okay so yes you can load you can load into this one also remove this so j n j n dash 2023 search so jan 2023 right so yes search hmm something right reset why it is not showing hmm okay it is showing correctly right so actual yes reset you see for, yes actual data period it is not showing so there is some problem in the period right we will see that come here go to setup period mapping so somebody might have created this application period mapping this is the problem so i am deleting this one yes save perfect source mapping we never touch global mapping now yes go to workflow data load workbench now click on this and you can select all the members yes remove this and then search done so when you map the application mapping it will show application mapping only first application map mapping will override global mapping so where is january 2023 yes select done right so yes set as default click okay so data load rule is not yet created so we have to create data load rule next create data load rule why do we need data load rule so it avoids some duplication for example so sap right we will map all the members when you are mapping account dimension entity dimension everything right it will be same for budget also then why do we need to create a another location why do we need a separate mapping so i can manipulate with data load rule right so one location will have more than one import format with the help of data load rule this one that is the reason here i put star marks 
one location can have more than one import format with the help of data load rule so this let data load rule for one location you can assign more than one data load rule right we'll create that come here so how, how many locations can we create with we have n number of creations n number of locations you can create okay so for each entity you can create a separate location sometimes some people some companies right some projects you will see entity as location yes every entity will be separately loaded yes click on add and sap underscore right hfm underscore rld rule yes so what is my category actual import format i can assign here yes sap import format done save so below this this one right never touch this because when you're loading the same file you can hard code the file so it will take the same file again and again as of now leave default okay right so this is my data load rule can i create another data load rule for the same location yes i will create a add sap underscore sap underscore hfm underscore bud budget so here i can i can select another import format and then right i can ascend to the same location so location right is the place where you load the data right so yes for the same location you can you can load actual data and you can load budget data also that is possible with data load rule so i'm canceling this done done now we have created data load rule we have created a location we have created a import rule import format so can i load the data directly yes but it will throw an error message so see now you have explained the columns to the system now what is abc what is def what is ind what is jap what is 1 2 3 4 5 what is 6 7 8 9 0 you have to explain to the system that is called mappings okay so next step is see here data load rule is related to the location to load data we can have more than one data load rule for each location we can manipulate two import formats to one location so i told you right we can load the actual data as well as budget data right right next map all dimensions here under mapping data load mapping right we do this click on data load mapping you have all the dimensions here see account dimension so there are types of mapping explicit mapping between mapping in mapping multi-dimensional mapping like mapping so explicit means one to one so click on add button so this is account right one two three four five what is my source one two three four five what is my target you can put as inco incoime from sls sales so save this one see so you can select from here also from the drop down box also yes click on refresh members yes it will show the entire hierarchy account income statement net income continued operations income yes operating income gross profit sales income from sales done next click on add button so five six seven eight nine zero what is what is this six seven eight nine zero yes six seven eight nine zero so this is called salaries yes salaries salaries yes save done automatically whenever the data is coming from one two three four five it will load into income from sales whenever the data is coming from six seven eight nine zero it will load into salaries it is one to one mapping then what is second type of mapping here many to one is possible means between mapping what is between if the data is coming from one to hundred accounts loaded to income from sales if the data is coming from 200 to 300 load it into salaries from 301 to 399 load it into wages etc etc you can give between mapping right yes regularly we give this one also next in mapping what is in mapping it's a choice 
means account 1 2 3 4 5 comma 8 9 10 11 comma some 5 6 7 8 if if anything comes between these three load it into income from sales likewise you can give a choice of four or five accounts three accounts two accounts right whenever the data comes to any of the accounts it will load into the given targets member okay that is called in mapping multi-dimension mapping as of now i'm not discussing it this is advanced concept you can learn by yourself like mapping means nothing but start to start right so yes come here go to next is entity click on explicit add button so ind so i'll put it as india ind india next so i don't put jpy what happens it will throw an error message jap here jap i'll put it as japan yes save for product right we'll do one thing click on explicit mapping a b c here i'll put it as l a l a p t o p s save so we'll ignore this d e f while loading the data it will throw an error message there is no such member is not mapped d e f is not mapped to the target system so it will fail in the validation right so yes next so data source yes like mapping star to star star sir target also star so rule name ds right save likewise multi gap also star to star add star to star right save likewise sorry Sir, uh, wide card, uh, wide, wide card entry, and uh, so correct. Like so you can use question mark, you can use star. So in the in, in the guide, right? I have given you. I have uh, I'll give you the notes, right? In there, you can clearly understand what is question mark, what is star, etc. Okay. Okay. So ICP again. Click on add button. Star to star, and then I see save next moment dimension again add star to star right so that's it so we mapped all the dimensions right now we are good to load the data see so data you need not touch data source is done right yes identity is done yes icp is done yes moment is done yes multi gap is done Yes, and product is also done. In product, we right knowingly we did not map one member. So we want to see that in the error message. Done. Next step is so here I'll explain you once again. One to one is possible. So what is one to one? One, two, three, go to income from sales. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, zero, go to salaries. We explained. So can I explain one, two, three, four, five like this? When you go to account dimension, can I say one, two, three, four, five to income from sales, six, seven, eight, nine, zero from salaries to salaries. Again, I'll put one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And can I put uh, wages here? When I click save, right? See, mapping is duplicate. System will confuse. You can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, all these go to income from sales. Many to one is possible, but one to many is not possible. That is what here I am explaining, okay? So one to one is possible, many to one is possible, but one to many is not possible. Explicit means one to one, example India to E1000, between means series 1 to 100 map to sales range mapping this is called range mapping in means many to one choice 50 80 19 whatever the data comes from 50 80 or 90 89 map it to sales choice mapping nothing but like means start to star mapping 
India to India, whatever you the data comes from SAP, right? It will, for example, company name both in in SAP and HFM are same. India, they are they are also calling India. We are also calling India. Yes, you can put start to start mapping automatically. It will map. It will load to the same member, right? Until here, everybody understood. Yes or no? Yes or no? So once again, we repeat the steps. First step is register target application. Second step is root folder. In these two points you need not practice. Third step is create import format. Fourth step is category mapping. It means nothing but actual data, budget data, forecast data. Period mapping means we are mapping the year and period. Next, create location. Yes, this is very very important. So, location is the place where we load the data. Next, create data load rule. So, we can manipulate the, uh, import formats through this data load rule. So that, right, you can assign more than one import format to the location. Next, map all dimension members. Yes, we map it. Next, import validate. So, well, where is my data file? Here it is my data file, right? Right. So I have put the my data file into SAP. Yes, now come here. Go to data load workbench. Click on import. Select the POE first. So I select the my location as SAP location. Just give me one second. So we select location, period, and category, and rule file. Yes. Now click OK. Click on this import button. Now file. Select the file. Where is my file? In the desktop, right? Select. So there is no file. Inbox, there is no file, right? So we'll upload the file first. So choose the file. Desktop, where is my file? SAP text. Yes. Open. OK. Now, when I click OK, so here import mode always replace. Remember, append means yes, you can load three or more files, it will append to file by file. When you put replace, it will replace. Always use, we will always use replace and online. Click OK, see, it will throw an error message now. What is the error? Validation is done, right? So, no something problem so abc product is abc laptops so yes 888999 what is my file here so this is df right so yes we have to save this one once again we'll do so yes click on import button click on select so delete this file we'll upload the file again okay upload choose file yes done click ok click ok it should throw validation error see yes so golden fish means successful black fish means error so you can see the validation errors here when you see here c product df is not mapped to a target member so this is the error so yes go to here Go to the data load mapping or you can fix from here also here also you can fix so click on this fix maps so df put it as dsk tops desktop save that's it close now do the validation again it will be gold color now see done now export yes always replace export you see merge accumulate replace we always keep replace only so click ok it will be exported to hfm
అదే చెప్పాను కదా వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ పుట్ విత్ ఇన్ ద ఫైల్ ఇట్ విల్ ఇగ్నోర్ దిస్ ఇట్ విల్ నాట్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఇయర్ పీరియడ్ అండ్ కేటగిరీ విత్ ఇన్ ద ఫైల్ ఇట్ విల్ ఇట్ విల్ బి కంట్రోల్డ్ ఆల్వేస్ ఇట్ విల్ బి కంట్రోల్ ఫ్రమ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ ద ఫైల్ ఓకే ఫ్రమ్ ద పీవో విల్ రైట్ సో ఎస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లోడెడ్ నౌ నౌ హౌ డూ వీ టెస్ట్ దట్ వన్ నౌ గో టు నావిగేట్ అప్లికేషన్ ఓపెన్ ద అప్లికేషన్ అండ్ దెన్ క్రియేట్ ఎ స్మాల్ గ్రేడ్ యూ విల్ సీ దట్ సో ఐఎమ్ క్లోజింగ్ దిస్ డేటా మేనేజ్మెంట్ రైట్ సో గో టు డాక్యుమెంట్స్ yes so we'll open any existing grid yes so not this one we'll create a new grid yes click on new grid yes so what are the accounts we loaded remove this income from sls sales yes and sls rias salaries yes if you know you can type like this yes same will drag the entity dimension yes so what are the entities we have taken right is asia japan and india yes done then so data source so laptops drag it here laptops as well as desktops yes done desktops done what is the data we loaded year is what is the year 2023 yes january now save this one and see so rather what is the mistake we have done so no, data source is input data data input yes and multi gap local gap moment underscore gas uh, gap yes now see yes so you see a small flower symbol right yes or no that is called drill down so while creating the import format i asked you to copy and paste the workspace url right so this is the importance of that one so right click and then you can see right drill through source automatically fdme will screen open see see 888 so simply you can drill down the value from where you got that clear this is called fdme simple data loading right so you have to practice this a simple data load so once the simple data load is load is completed what do you do in the i'll give you a test cases see so fdme here is see, there is a part 1 part 2 part 3 and case study 1 so this is my sap data live sap data you have to load entire sap data so what is 136 it is map, map it is entity right it is account and this zero right whatever you are seeing zero etc etc so yes you can this broadband laptops right this is for uh, according to previous one right please change according to current system so yes you have to load all this data this is called test case one so how do we case study here i have given you the case study so okay 1010 means laptops desktop server so you can you can uh, remove this and you can put it as something like that and then you can always map so right see hfm these are the all the accounts in hfm you have to map this first sap accounts these are the sap accounts sap entities sap products so you have to load this exchange rates also so this is the case study second case study it will be little bit difficult case study 2 so here sap multi data multi load means you will see more than one data column you have to load this data clear so third case study is you need not practice third case study because this is something related to scripting you have to you have sap data people sub data and oracle financial data and you have to use jaitan scripting so here there is a concept called scripting right click on navigate administer 
data management see here there is a concept called scripting so it needs python language so you can ignore this remaining everything you can practice okay and metadata also you can ignore so remaining data load workbench data load rule data load mapping batch execution report execution yes you have to practice all these things now what is this process details see we got an error message so validation failed right so it will clearly tell you where went wrong see when you go to here right when you click on the show button it will tell you so here it will clearly tell you some it is not mapped okay so this is called process log so when if, we, if there is an error right it will clearly show if it is successful then it will show green color and if it is failure it will show red color clear so this is very very basic of fdme <coughs> any doubts so far please ask any doubts please ask complete 10 steps First two steps, no need to practice. No need to practice. Don't practice. Okay, and then we practice this and go on the second step or root to yeah, bro practice chilling. I mean, local in call of mirror mirror changes none in call changes. First step on your application, I think my own application. Me own application at just going to own application mathematical deal type of the gabati. Yes, if you want to create your own application, yes, you can create your own HFM application and and you can uh, register that here. It's up to you. Okay, every week the delete type of choose whatever the work you have done, if that will be deleted. Yes. Sir, whenever, whenever we get the uh, data from uh, people software uh, SAP, then only we'll use the FDME, sir. Then only Kadam. My FDM is mandatory for every project. How do you load the data? Manually you cannot load, right? Without FDM, there is no HFM. Without FDM, there is no SBS. Without FDM, there is no planning. Without FDM, there is no uh, ARM, ARCS. FDM lack on the Panjagadama Gutunskondi. You cannot load data without FDM. Uh, load, it is not possible. Jayadani. So load Jadan FDM and ah, data load Jadan data load automation Jail Gadamano. So FDM is uh, mandatory tool Gutunskondama. And yeah, FDM is not. very big tool when compared to HF. HFM Ganda Pathetuli, one, one class log Adi, Japan within ten days Miru Patti, the Putti can edge call a day. But interest like a snaru, Miriam Chapatle, questions. Sir, uh, ah. if you load data load is ah. up to three options uh, accumulate, uh, replace, uh, replace with security. So replace just normal. Always security replace just either replace security. in life, replace by security or just normal. So, same difference, uh, replace, mali, replace with security. Merge means, for example, merge means it will replace the existing and then it will add the new new data replace means completely it will delete the data and it will replace accumulate means accumulate means 100 it will add another 100 200 it will become 200 replace by security means for example you don't have security to asia regions so it won't do any harm to asia regions when you replace right it won't touch asia asia entities so in live we always use replace by security here there is no security so we use replace okay oh no hfm security laga in in fdm also there is a security i'll tell you i'll explain you okay see simply i'll explain you security okay click on setup click on security settings see location security so i give this location security to only specific users means manju can load only asia india hong kong japan singapore data yes i can i'll create different securities right i mean different local locations right for each location i can give a security this is called location security role security means yes click on role there is integrator right see run integration create integration intermediate one two three four you are all admins so you cannot uh, see the difference so when you go to shared services navigate administer shared services console 
so write groups hfm right click you see provision so you are all administrator fdm administrator right so you see all the menus now we'll do one thing we'll go to users and there are some users called pm1 right star pm star now right click on pm1 and then provision for fdm ee there is no provisioning so i am giving fdm so i don't give all the administrators so here you can see create integration drill through i am giving intermediate two see there will not be intermediate one okay intermediate to save that's it now when you log in with same copy this and paste it right we log in with pm1 so pm1 what is the password password is password now can he do anything in fdm yes so click on navigate administer data management see what what are the tasks he can see nothing because here we give the role by security go to fdm data management role i'll select the intermediate one intermediate two so here he can see only i don't want him to change the root folder so i don't give him so come here come here data load workbench data load mapping yes regularly he has to do data load mapping data load rule he has to execute and data load workbench that's it and then he has to see the error messages so process details save that's it a very very simple security now come here log off and login login again password now click on navigate administer data management now what are the activities you can do data load and monitor yes he can load the data he can uh, execute the data load rule he can uh, if any member is missing target member is missing he can map that data mapping and then he can check the process logs that's it other than that he cannot do anything clear so this is how i'll give intermediate one to j1 intermediate two to manju intermediate three to likewise we have seven uh, nine intermediates right it means eight intermediates see how many intermediate two three four five so i can give different different rights to different different people okay i'll give only batch loading to manju he cannot load manually he he, he can always execute batches sir ikkada emana create chesara ikkada ikkada em create cheyam ante just we will select from the drop down box that's it am save chesara ante mari evarke assign chesam ni name assign cheyadam ikkada ikkada icham kada pm1 ki pm1 ki ikkada nenu intermediate 2 ani ichanu kada deenki daniki link up ela ayindi hsf samandhi ikkada intermediate 2 undi akkada intermediate lo meer ye menus isthe aa menus chodagalutara ante both are workspace only right Ah, so here for PM two, I'll give intermediate. So yes, come here, PM two, right click, provision, FDM, FDM. Yes, intermediate three, I'll give to PM three. Yes, save. That's it. Okay, now come here in the role intermediate three, right? Intermediate three, I'll give only. uh batch execution where is batch ex script execution of a b b b b ekkada batch definition batch definition kada execution data load rule execution data load mapping check entity yes script execution batch execution ekkada undama yes batch execution that's it save other than batch execution he cannot do anything now come here log off that's it pm pm2 password p a s s w p a s s w o r d uh huh load yes he can run only batches that's it click on navigate administer data management yes see other than batch execution he cannot do anything so likewise right we give the security in fdme and that advanced amma how do we give security in fdme yes or no yes right so yes now what is 
ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಓಕೆ ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ಆಟೋಮೇಟ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಐ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಯು ದ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಲೋಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಲೋಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಪಿ ರೈಟ್ ಬಜ್ಜೆ ಡೇಟಾ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಡೇಟಾ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇಟಾ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ಕ್ವಾರ್ಟರ್ಲಿ ಡೇಟಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೆನಿ ಬ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒರಾಕಲ್ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ವೈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಫೈಲ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಡೈಲಿ ವಿ ಲೋಡ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವೀಕ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಲೋಡ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಮಂತ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಲೋಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡೇಟಾ ನಾವು ಸೊ ವಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಎ ಬ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈವನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೇವ್ ಎಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ಆಡ್ ಬಟನ್ so what is my batch name first okay first sap batch okay right done so target application yes here we are we have to always put open batch so one thing you have to remember so in fdm each and every menu each and every attribute we don't use some attributes we don't we use it for planning some for uh, other uh, data processing tools other than hyperion so here for hfm we use either open batch or open batch multi period okay so always open batch so execution mode serial or parallel means you are loading 10 files then how do you want to load all 10 files at a time parallelly or one by one first 0 1 next 0 2 next 0 3 like this so i'll put serial so right okay open batch directory yes file separator so i'll always put tilde so auto load data load rule that, that's it so you can create a script python scripting to rename the file or etc etc after batch and before batch and after batch also you can run the scripts so save my batch definition is just give me one second so here batch group is evening morning batch right yes save that's it my batch is already created now how do i execute that one come here go to data load workbench click on batch execution so where is this refresh one minute so log off and log in again yes admin login click on navigate administrator data management go to batch the batch execution you see the batch now see first sap batch when i click on execute it will be executed 100% but it won't load anything because it has to check the file now when i execute the batch what do you think what will be the uh, scenario what will be the period what will be the year ela del sudama system ki through the file name it will recognize see when i click on execute it will be executed see when you go to the process it will be successful see 222 batch is executed but nothing is loaded because i have to put this file this file particular whatever the file you created right this file in the open batch folder so for that one you have to follow a naming convention see what is the naming convention in the notes i might have given you so fdm e important right click this no yes this is the naming convention you have to follow 01 means sequence of the file next hyderabad is the location actual is the scenario december 2015 is the year r means while importing the replace another r means while exporting the replace so this is the naming convention you have to follow right shall we follow this desktop yes see cheppanamma so what is the name i have to give here first name vale 01 next tilde enduku ichanamma tilde 
because in the batch definition file separator i have given the tilde right so i am using tilde here what is our location now chapanama what is the location no here ikkada mana manu create chesina location sap underscore this one sap underscore hfm underscore actual right so come here right f2 sap underscore hfm underscore act ee padiki meeku ardham ayinda i have given tilde as my file separator but not uh, underscore because underscore isthe emaiddi in the file in the name of the in the name also there is underscore right it will it will uh, throw an error message so the that file separator should be very very unique either pipe or tilde okay okay next again tilde what is the name other name we have to give the scenario right what is scenario yes actual so actual sorry actual f2 actual 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 again tilde what is my period kotha period then load chedam amma so 20 january 2024 ki load chedam ok sari period mapping like el chudandi so somebody has january 2021 ki load chedam right yes come here f2 yes again tilde what is my replace mode r r replace and replace again yes done this is the file you have to put this file in open batch folder so come here go to workflow go to data load rule here you can select the location so yes expand inbox expand batches expand open batch sir client ki ee folder isthama automatically akkada pedthala mana upload cheyala yes client we will give e folder direct ki ivvam manam manam oka network folder istham Mm -hmm. there he will put and from there our jaitan scripting will pick before batch und kada before batch script ak rasta nenu ok script emani ee folder ki elli whatever the file client has put right rename that file to according to this rename idi idi amma mi formula idi rename nenu ok batch file create chestanu idi idi rename oka simple ga edo file istharu kada aa file ee file istharu itla istharu client client eppudu kuda ela istadu sap format lo this this file 1010 a1406 0707030 means 07 means july july 7th 00230 etc timing anamata adi right so adratri pandanara so we'll fill pick that file and then we'll rename according to the naming convention target file ela rename chestam manam and then we'll load it okay we'll automate that through jaitan scripting जनवरी cancel this process details right see a folder name will be created with this process id 222 now next will be created as 23223 right so yes so go to data load rule upload the file to expand 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 open batch upload what is the file we have to choose this file done load done okay you can cancel it right now we have to click on batch execution now automatically whatever the whatever the file you put in the open batch here see in the kadama open batch file undi this file will be loaded and it will be moved to 223 folder it will create a folder called 223 a uh, file uh, process id with the with the process id name and then it will move the file to that one see now come here and before lo before executing the batch we will go to that what is the period we have selected and am january 2021 right so go to data load workbench so click on sfm january 2021 yes click okay see so there is no import there is no validate there is no export right now come here click on batch execution and then execute see what happens you can schedule this also 
you can schedule every month every month first day of every month or first week or first saturday sunday everything you can you can according to time zone you can schedule automatically this batch will run during that schedule now process details see yes 2 to 3 now come here and see see 2 to 3 is created and the file is moved here now whether data is loaded or not go to workbench and see see so 21 you have to log off and log in again this is bug actually so again go to yes log off log in again go to navigate administer data load data management go to data load workbench see january 2021 sap hfm actually it is loaded successfully see now in in fccs also i mean in hfm you can create a grid and you can see whether this data is loaded or not a very very simple batch execution at under katha minute na yes or no how do we create the batches so yes every batch right will be scheduled me is not schedule just coach amma but normally i don't schedule in fdme because right in uh, there is a there will be a separate scheduling tools ibm tivoli etc etc right we use this we, we schedule data loads if you are having many data loads if you are having only one or two data loads we always use fdme kani ok day ok daily miru in case see it supports only 24 hours arakandi ko sari mir load cheyalante mir cheyaler amma in fdme there is a small problem okay adi meeku live lo unnalu ka ardham avutundi adi so we use a third party tools to schedule the data loads or we use windows task scheduler also clear the same batch script i can create it as a batch and then i can schedule it through windows task scheduler also andarki automation ela jarugutundo ardham ayinda yes sir no please so you use this schedule meeru ala pettesayandi amma ela pettesesi ee roju date select cheskuni evening 5 ki i data load ayipovali unique take unique year and unique period and unique values also so that you can recognize ఈ ప్రాసెస్ డీటెయిల్స్లో చూడగానే మీకు అర్థమైపోద్దామా సి బ్యాచ్ ఈస్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ ప్రాసెస్ ఇయర్ కింద కింద చూడండి సో టూ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సేయింగ్ సి ఇది కొంచెం పెద్ద చేసుకోండి ఇది ఇక్కడ ఆగండి ఒక్క నిమిషం ఇది పెద్ద చేసుకోండి ఇట్లాగా నా యూ కెన్ సి డేటా లోడెడ్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ ఆల్ టిక్స్ షుడ్ బి గ్రీన్ కలర్ సో యూ కెన్ సి వెదర్ డేటా ఈజ్ లోడెడ్ సక్సెస్ఫుల్లీ ఆర్ నాట్ ఓకే సో ప్రాక్టీస్ దిస్ నౌ okay done i have loaded some 30 files or 40 files now how do i know that which file throwed an error message which file has which file has validation errors which file has tar- improper target or missing target members how do i know so i'll automate this through email so i'll write a email alerting so here meek chodanna ma part 3 even jaitan scripting we can manipulate that one also so here part 3 fdme part 3 right here you can see email alert this is you can if you want if anybody wants right yes you can use this one see so recipients yes you can put your gmail id this is from email id right likewise right you can use anything clear so yes automatically right one minute somebody has logged in yes automatically right it will send a email so i'll generate a report see report execution here there are many reports check reports process monitor reports variance reports right base trail balance reports all these things i'll use regularly use this process monitor reports so period category yes click on execute yes okay it will it will generate a report how many data loads are loaded successfully ese ikkada ila ga anamata prathidi ila varsha ga vastadamma it will clearly show agan live de emana undem chuddam so is there any data load led led so directly it will load 10 files or 20 files just by seeing this single report admin will understand okay for location uh, oracle financials location validation is failed for some other location export is failed likewise data load is failed likewise 
you will understand okay then we will go to that particular location and then we will revalidate we will uh, map the target members and then we will revalidate and then we will export okay simply we will do it manually out of 30 loads right one or two loads will fail we will go to that those two loads manually two locations manually and then we will reload we will map the members and then we reload clear so every month every month the very first day when you go to system and when you open your system you will check this process monitor report you will check whether the data load is successful for all the locations if anything fails you will manually do it what is the reason for failure Japanama? what is the reason for failure export failing in the entity validate failure in the entity validate failure fail means there are no target members mapped if export is fails and then the entity for example here simple so instead of data put data input if i put none what happens so dama come here go to setup import format so my sap import format yes here for data load instead of data type i put none so invalid intersection right now see go to yes go to data load workbench import the file again select expand inbox okay import so no issues so import a validator done when i click on export it will throw an error message See, because invalid intersection, so I cannot load my data to data source none member. So import is successful, validate is successful, but export is failed because export if export is failed, it means that there is a problem in our HFM. If import is failed, that there is a problem in our file means source. Export a put fail There will be two reasons: one is invalid intersection, another one is real technical issue. And then my system has a problem on it too you have to restart all the services restart the servers and then you have to reload okay first reason is invalid intersection so by slowly by experience so process details see log files so yes click on this log file this log file log level is four means it won't give you much uh, information so we'll go to setup we'll go to system settings application settings and then here log level see log level i put it as 5 save when you put log level as 5 it will give the detailed information but by default it will be 3 only i put 3 on the ma approval 5 better game id your log files will accumulate in gbs so i was around to the five better code okay whenever it is necessary then only you put five save this one for you that will be level one only no no level three minimum will be if you don't put anything it will take it as three so click on export now click ok we go part the file keep the quarter file give me that my project data and the clear going to do now come here go to process details again it fell right see when i click on this file see old file 2261 any lines which name okay just give me one second so here we'll see so go to outbox sorry outbox locks locks on number a the date modified first then touching the 26 then touching number 226 any cabbage three cabbages whereas 227 and touching it when you right click and open with notepad plus plus c a detailed error message see cancel no yes no so in in line search in the journal 300 lines which me are they make a e-file and touch in the 226 sorry notepad plus plus and that's number 33 lines which another one so whenever any error comes in live right immediately i'll put my log level as 5 and then i'll ask the i'll ask the client to reproduce the same error 
సో ఇక్కడ క్లియర్గా చెప్పేస్తుందమ్మా సి ఇన్వ్యాలిడ్ సెల్ జాన్వరి సో యాక్చువల్ టూ థౌజండ్ వన్ సో హియర్ యూ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ వన్ సో ఇప్పుడు ఇది ఇన్వ్యాలిడ్ అని నాకు ఎలా తెలిసిద్ది ఎస్ సేమ్ పిఓవి యూ క్రియేట్ ఎ గ్రిడ్ అండ్ సి యూ విల్ గెట్ ఏ ఆరెంజ్ కలర్ అర్థమైందా మీ ఇప్పుడు వెళ్ళి మీరు చూడంగానే నేనైతే చెప్పేస్తాను మీరు అనుకుంటే ఏం చేయాలి ఇదే పిఓవికి ఒక గ్రిడ్ వేసి చూడండి అక్కడ యాక్చువల్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఇక్కడికి వచ్చేయండి హెచ్ఎఫ్ఎంలోకి వచ్చేయండి రైట్ సో నావిగేట్ ఎస్ గో టు కన్సల్టేషన్ సారీ అప్లికేషన్స్ రైట్ కమ్ హియర్ సో రైట్ సేమ్ థింగ్ పుట్ ఇట్ యాస్ న్యూ డేటా గ్రేడ్ ఎస్ సో సెలెక్ట్ డ్రాక్ దిస్ డేటా సోర్స్ టు హియర్ సో ఐ సెలెక్ట్ డేటా సోర్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ ఎస్ నన్ హియర్ రైట్ నౌ సింప్లీ క్లిక్ ఓకే అండ్ దెన్ సి ఫర్ నన్ ఇట్ విల్ కమ్ యాజ్ ఆరెంజ్ కలర్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ ఇన్వాలిడ్ ఇంటర్సెక్షన్ అంటే ఇన్వాలిడ్ ఇంటర్సెక్షన్ ఉంటే డేటా విల్ నాట్ బి లోడెడ్ సో ఎస్ యూ కెన్ సీ ఇట్ హియర్ మీరు చక్కగా మీతో అన్ని యాజ్రీజ్ చేశారనుకోండి మీకు అర్థమైపోద్ది ఈ క్వశ్చన్ అడిగారంటే మీరు డేటా బయట చేయట్లేదు అని అర్థం కస్టమ్ టాప్ మెంబర్ సో ఎస్ కస్టమ్ టాప్ మెంబర్ ఈస్ టోటల్ ప్రొడక్ట్ so under total product none is not there when you go to product total product none is not there in the total product so yes it will throw an error message so for example cash account ki hardware an pettam anukonde top product only hardware ee ee nalugi maatram select chesi meetha ye select chesina invalid intersection clear so this is called fdm adagandi amma any doubts please ask ఎలా చేయొచ్చమ్మా చెప్పండి ఇప్పుడు ఇప్పుడు మనం ఇదే ఫైల్ ని సేమ్ ఫైల్ రైట్ వి లోడ్ ఇట్ కామా సెవెన్ 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 కామా సిక్స్ 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 కామా త్రీ 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 కామా టూ 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 ఇది మల్టీ లోడ్ డేటా అంతేనా so i am loading forecast data three three with three periods if it is a 12 months data it is budget data if it is three months data it is forecast data now i have to load it to forecast for the same location now come here go to setup import format so i'll create another import format so here i'll create it as sap underscore fcst forecast okay file so multi column numeric data means my data is in adhe petti manam row number maarthadu kada edi petti column number delimit kade petti column number maarthadu sir kada oke oke column load chestadu appudu 3 3 3 data load cheyadu right right for column is save now we will create the import format again yes so acc account a column undamma same three amount here we have to understand values ekkada ekkada unnai ikkada mari values what are the columns 678 so here we have to use this expression in this expression i'll use column start column end endama column start start column edi 6 6 column comma column end edi 8 that's it automatically it will recognize this three column six seven eight as value now data source dt same as it is one i'll put it as data input yes entity ent so entity where is my entity two yes icp icp one so icp none నన్ నెక్స్ట్ ఎంవిఎంఎన్టీ వన్ 
so hard coding em sorry mv mt underscore csh mv mnt na mv mt ma no issues yeah in nature from moment dimension also na ha kotta kotta antlo pettam kada amma yeah so l o c a l g a a p ఎందుకంటే మూమెంట్ డైమెన్స్ మీద ఎక్కువ క్వశ్చన్స్ అడిగి వేస్తున్నారు మీరు ప్రాక్టీస్ చేసుకోవచ్చు అని థర్డ్ ఎస్ వన్ సేవ్ దిస్ వన్ డన్ అయిపోయిందమ్మా దట్స్ ఫోర్ క్యాస్ట్ నౌ యూ కెన్ లోడ్ డేటా నౌ కమ్ హియర్ గో టు వర్క్ ఫ్లో డేటా లోడ్ రూల్ ఇఫ్ ఐ క్రియేట్ ఏ ఇఫ్ ఐ క్రియేట్ ఏ సపరేట్ లొకేషన్ రైట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు మ్యాప్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ డైమెన్షన్ అగైన్ సో మ్యాపింగ్ సార్ సేమ్ సో ఐ విల్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ డేటా లోడ్ రూల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఎఫ్సిఎస్టి అండర్ స్కోర్ ఆర్ ఎల్జి రూల్ yes what is my category forecast what is my import format forecast save that's it then it is save in the right save so click on here select the target as forecast that's it save what's in the forecast now you can load the data three months data at a time now go to sir so, in uh, period also same sir account also same sir account yeah account it will take the same um, because Anna. location is not changed right so all the mappings it will take the same so but one thing you have to understand is january 2021 february and march should be there so how to write the expression sir right expression here you have to write like this go to import format you have to ex- write the expression like this here click on this edition there are many expressions fill drc speed sign factor and get non non zero suppression etc etc you can write a script also but here column start and end is enough you can execute also select as ha execute lo kuda select cheskuntam kada ekkada execute execute to data load rule ah execute yes yes for yes yes for multiple load we always select from uh, this this one only so select the file so inbox upload so we'll do one thing this one i'll rename this file to right what is this file yes i'll rename it the sap underscore fcst okay done now come here select the upload file choose file desktop sap forecast okay yes. select the file okay yes you can hard code this here now save so every time we load the same file and now you can execute from here also forecast execute see yes import from source import, export to target january 21 22 january february march 2021 end period right that's it right now run yes automatically three will be loaded see come here refresh it throw an error message yes ekkada unda error message so ekkada unda import data for february 2021 now click on show button now one minute right click sorry hmm ekkada undamma idi ekkada load ayyuntadi come here downloads yes right click open with notepad plus plus ekkada tan inda chuddama so error message will be always be like this meeku slow ga ardham kavali elagamma err right ekkada error undi yes f3 f3 so completed with errors ఏంటి ది ఫిబ్రవరి ఫోర్కాస్ట్ డేటా ఫిబ్రవరి ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఫిబ్రవరి ఇండియా ఎన్టి కరెన్సీ మూమెంట్ అండర్ స్కోర్ క్యాష్ దెర్ ఈజ్ నో సచ్ మెంబర్ ఎస్ కమ్ హియర్ సో గో టు సెటప్ ఇంపోర్ట్ ఫార్మాట్ సో ఎస్ హియర్ కమ్ హియర్ ఎంవిఎంఎన్టి ఎంవిఎంఎన్టి ఎస్ సేవ్ that's it now come here go to data load rule execute the rule again right select select and it should be march 2021 replace and replace file elipoyindi kada sir undadu untadu kada multi load rule automate chesthe elipoddi 
పర్మనెంట్గా అక్కడ ఉంటుంది అనమాట ఏది డేటా లోడ్రోల్ అయితే మళ్ళీ ఇంకోసారి ఇంకో ప్రాబ్లం ఏంటమ్మా ఈసారి మళ్ళీ ఎస్ షో షో ఇన్ ఫోల్డర్ టూ ట్వంటీ నైన్ రైట్ లేక్ నోట్ ప్యాడ్ ప్లస్ ప్లస్ ఈఆర్ఆర్ ఎస్ ఎర్ మ్యాప్స్ ఎస్ ఎఫ్ త్రీ ఎఫ్ త్రీ కంప్లీటెడ్ విత్ ఎర్ర సో ఎర్ర నో సచ్ మెంబర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎంవిఎంఎన్టి క్యాష్ ఏంటిదమ్మా ఎంవిఎంఎన్టి అండర్ స్కోర్ క్యాష్ సో ఎస్ గో టు యువర్ హియర్ రైట్ ఎడిట్ మెంబర్స్ ఎంవిఎంటిఎస్ ఎస్ సో కమ్ హియర్ గో టు సెటప్ again go to import format yes click on this mv mts mv mts underscore c a s h cache that's right now again go to workflow this time it should execute january march yes done go to process details refresh done it loaded successfully see in the process management you can see yes clearly data loaded to january data loaded to february data loaded to march yes you can go to our data load workbench and you can see january march also mar now you will see it is loaded successfully see import validate export is successful so this is called multi load yes even we automate this one so while by multi load automate right the naming convention is different you have to give start month as well as end month also that is the only difference yes all the budget loads will be will be automated all the forecast loads will be automated this is called కరెక్ట్ ద సేమ్ లొకేషన్ వీ అసైన్ అనదర్ ఇంపోర్ట్ ఫార్మాట్ త్రూ అనదర్ డేటా లోడ్ రూల్ ఓకే సో వెన్ యువర్ మ్యాపింగ్స్ ఆర్ సేమ్ యూ నీడ్ నాట్ క్రియేట్ ఎ సెపరేట్ లొకేషన్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ టైమ్ బికాస్ వెన్ యూ క్రియేట్ ఎ లొకేషన్ ఎ సెపరేట్ మ్యాపింగ్ షుడ్ బి డన్ ఫర్ ఈచ్ లొకేషన్ ఆర్ సింప్లీ యూ కెన్ డూ వన్ థింగ్ హియర్ వెన్ యూ క్లిక్ ఆన్ లొకేషన్ హియర్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ పేరెంట్ లొకేషన్ అసైన్ హియర్ when you, when you put a parent location all the mappings of parent location will be assigned to the child location ila kuda chesukochamma yes huh? you can create a separate location for uh, forecast but you can use the same mappings just like actual ala kuda chesukochu it's up to you create ela chestam sir parent location location em undadu parent location ani cheppi actually idi ichestan nenu edi sap hfm act ani what are the mappings are there for sap hfm ict the same mappings will be applicable to budget also right likewise it will be like this sir ah how data will come source to fdm sir cheppan kada we will ask sap people to extract the data and put it in one network folder network shared folder our okay, FD- users yes sir adi కాదు ఎస్ఏపీ వాళ్ళు చేస్తారు మనకు సంబంధం లేదు అసలు అది ఎస్ఏపీలో వాళ్ళు ఆటోమేట్ చేస్తారు ఎవ్రీ మంత్ ఎవ్రీ డే ఎవ్రీ వీక్ సెట్ అండ్ టైమ్ ఎక్స్ట్రాక్ట్ ద డేటా అండ్ పుట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ వన్ నెట్వర్క్ ఫోల్డర్ అవర్ డేటా అవర్ స్క్రిప్ట్ విల్ పిక్ దట్ ఫైల్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ లోడ్ ఇన్ టు హెచ్ఎఫ్ఎం వాళ్ళకి మనకి మల్టీ డైమెన్షన్ మ్యాపింగ్ అంటే సో ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు కన్ఫ్యూజ్ వన్ మినిట్ జస్ట్ గివ్ మీ వన్ సెకండ్ ఇక్కడ నోట్స్ లో మీకు ఏం చెప్పాను నేను వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పాసిబుల్ విత్ మల్టీ డైమెన్షన్ మ్యాపింగ్ ఓకే ఇప్పుడు వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ వచ్చి సేల్స్ లో పడింది వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ వచ్చి వేజెస్ లో పడమని చెప్పచ్చా నేను మళ్ళీ ఎస్ విత్ కండిషన్ ఐ కెన్ పుట్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇండియా వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ షుడ్ గో టు సేల్స్ if it is japan 1 2 3 4 5 should go to salaries so one to many is possible with multi dimension mapping but only thing is you have to give a condition in the multi dimension mapping koncham kashtam amma meer idi prasthaniki koncham meer idi anta depth ga elladdu so 
first concentrate on simple data loading and then batch loading right మల్టీడైమెన్షన్ ఇది కావాలని ఇచ్చారు ఇక్కడ ఆల్ఫాబెటిక్ ఆర్డర్ లేకుండా ఫస్ట్ ఎక్స్ప్లిసిట్ అండ్ దెన్ బిట్వీన్ అండ్ దెన్ ఇన్ అండ్ దెన్ మల్టీ మై డైమెన్షన్ అండ్ దెన్ లైక్ ఓకేనా అది మల్టీ డైమెన్షన్ కావాలంటే మీరు ఒకసారి ట్రై చేయండి మీరు ఏంటిది ఇండియాకి అయితే సేమ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఇండియా అయితే కనుక తీసుకెళ్ళి సరే దీనికి నేను ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ క్రియేట్ చేసి ఇస్తానండి మీకు ఓకేనా క్లిక్ ఆన్ యాడ్ బటన్ ఎస్ సో రూల్ నేమ్ my rlg any rule you can give any rule target value enter to yes cash sales edo kodi iskonna cash icham okay na right done so add so dimension is account source account source account end the 1 2 3 4 5 add entity ind okay that's it done okay na enter the account 1 2 3 4 5 ayi india aithe ganaka cash now add again rule name 2 target value is bank okay done add account 1 2 3 4 5 click add entity japan that's it ipudu chudandi same account 1 2 3 4 5 adhe india ite ganaka cash la padudhi ide ite ganaka bank la padudhi save then now go to explicit you have to delete this otherwise explicit will prevail right if any conflict arises save ah. అంతే ఇప్పుడు చూడండి సో డేటా లోడ్ వర్క్ బ్యాంచ్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ఇంపోర్ట్ ఫైల్ సో నాట్ హియర్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు గో టు డేటా లోడ్ రూల్ రిమూవ్ దిస్ అదర్వైజ్ ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ ద సేమ్ ఫైల్ అగైన్ అండ్ అగైన్ నా గో టు హియర్ గో టు ఇంపోర్ట్ రైట్ సెలెక్ట్ ఎక్స్పాండ్ ఇన్బాక్స్ ఎస్ఏపి డేటా ఎస్ ఓకే ఓకే చూడా ఇండియాకి ఏం తీసుకుందామ్మా వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ క్యాష్ ఓకే సో నో నో కాదు 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 కరెక్టే మనకి డేటా ఫైల్ షుడ్ బి చేంజ్డ్ రైట్ సో 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 ఎస్ఏపి ఇదే కదమ్మా ఎస్ఏపి వేర్ ఇస్ ద ఫైల్ ఎస్ దిస్ వన్ ఇండియా జపాన్ ఆల్సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు పుట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ అంతే కదమ్మా నా విల్సి right done now go to here click on import button click on select click on upload file choose file yes okay now click on okay and then okay now we'll see see for india 1 2 3 4 5 it it it, it uh, loaded to cash for japan the same 1 2 3 4 5 it loaded to bank మల్టీ లోడింగ్ మల్టీ డైమెన్షన్ మ్యాపింగ్ అంటే అర్థమైనట్టేనా అంటే సేమ్ క్యాష్ ఉంటే జపాన్ కూడా క్యాష్ ఉంటే అవదా సార్ అవదు ఓన్లీ ఫర్ జపాన్ ఇట్ విల్ లోడ్ ఇట్ టు బ్యాంక్ సో ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ 1 టు మెనీ ఇస్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ రైట్ 1 2 3 4 5 ఒకసారి క్యాష్ కి ఒకసారి బ్యాంక్ కి లోడ్ అయ్యిందా హియర్ క్లియర్లీ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ సర్ ఇండియా రావచ్చు కదా సర్ క్యాష్ హా ఇండియా కి రావచ్చు కదా జనరల్ గా ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ నేను ఎగ్జాంపుల్ గ్యాస్ అలా ఇచ్చాను అంతే సింపుల్ but in live there will be a proper rather 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 endukante because i clearly in the multi dimensional map i clearly told the system entity okay clearly cheppan kada entity 1 2 3 4 5 and account india is cash and entity 1 2 3 4 5 japan bank sir my rule lo 
మీరు <laughs> 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 మీరు వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ తీసుకెళ్ళి క్యాష్ లోడ్ చేయమన్నారు అనుకోండి అప్పుడు ఎక్స్ప్లిసిట్ లోనే చేసుకోవచ్చుగా మీరు అదే అదే చెప్తున్నాను అదే రూల్ త్రీ క్రియేట్ చేసి వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ జపాన్ అని వెళ్ళి క్యాష్ పెడితే దానికి దానికి మల్టీ డైమెన్షన్ ఇవ్వడం ఎందుకు డైరెక్ట్ గా ఇక్కడే ఇక్కడే పెట్టుకోవచ్చు కదా వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ క్యాష్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ అనదర్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఇదని కాన్ఫ్లిక్ట్ అవుతుంది అవుతుంది కదా అంటున్నా అప్పుడు మల్టీ డైమెన్షన్ పర్పస్ గా అచీవ్ అవ్వట్లేదు కదా మంజు గారు combination of dimension so the same account should go to different member many to one to many but only thing is you are changing the dimension ide kadu meeru cost center ki live lo regular ga vaadta multi dimensional mapping okay na you can explain the same now any more doubts any more doubts in uh, here ipudu mana మీకు దాంట్లో చూస్తే అర్థమైపోద్ది వైటీ ఆల్వేస్ ఎఫ్డిఎంఈ లోడ్స్ ఆల్వేస్ వైటీ డేటా ఉంది గుర్తుంచుకోండి అంటే ఇప్పుడు అక్కడ ఎంటర్ చేసింది మారిపోయింది డిఫరెన్స్ ఖచ్చితంగా ఖచ్చితంగా మీరు కరెక్ట్ గా ప్రాపర్ గా గ్రిడ్ వేసుకోండి ప్రాపర్ గా ఫస్ట్ మంత్ హండ్రెడ్ సెకండ్ మంత్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ థర్డ్ మంత్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ వేసుకోండి వెళ్ళి చెక్ చేసుకోండి ఫర్ క్యాష్ అండ్ ఫర్ శాలరీస్ ఒక ఇన్కమ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఐటమ్ ఒక బ్యాలెన్స్ షీట్ ఐటమ్ తీసుకుని వేసుకుని చూడండి మీకు పీరియాడిక్ చేయాలంటే జైతాన్ స్క్రిప్టింగ్ రాయాలి ఎఫ్సిసిఎస్ లో లేదు ఎఫ్సిసిఎస్ లో అవసరం యూ కెన్ లోడ్ పీరియాడిక్ డేటా బట్ ఇన్ ఎఫ్డిఎంఈ దేర్ ఇస్ నో సచ్ ప్రొవిజన్ గివెన్ టు లోడ్ పీరియాడిక్ డేటా ఓకే ఒక విషయం అండి ఈ లెవెన్ టూ వర్షన్ లో నేను ఇంకా టెస్ట్ చేయలేదు నాకు తెలియదు అంటే లెవెన్ వన్ టూ ఫోర్ యూ కెనాట్ లోడ్ పీరియడ్ డేటా ఇన్ ఎఫ్డిఎంఈ వితౌట్ ఎఫ్డి వితౌట్ జైతాన్ స్క్రిప్టింగ్ ఓకే బై డిఫాల్ట్ ఎఫ్డిఎంఈ విల్ టేక్ వైటీడీ బ్యాలెన్సెస్ ఓన్లీ బై డిఫాల్ట్ ఎఫ్డిఎంఈ విల్ లోడ్ వైటీడీ బ్యాలెన్సెస్ ఓన్లీ తంబురూల్ క్లియర్ ఎఫ్సిసిఎస్ లో పీరియడ్ కూడా లోడ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఆ రూల్ పెట్టలేదు అది ఆప్షన్ ఎలా సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకోవాలనేది నేను చూడలేదు ఒకసారి కాదు ఒకసారి చూద్దాం ఆగండి ఎస్ లోడ్ దిస్ 